Welcome to BTEC, this is David. We're sponsored by Direct Mobiles. Make sure you check out their deals at directmobiles.co.uk. Motorola just leaked real images of their upcoming and long awaited flip phone, the Motorola Razr 2, and it really does look stunning. This is how you do the folding phone. I think this is the form factor that we really wanted when we first heard about foldable devices. The few other foldable phones on the market at the moment tend to fold the other way, opening like a book, but this is a clamshell design based on their old school Motorola Razr, which was a big hit. I actually love the Motorola Razr, the original one. And this is just a modern version of that phone with the beautiful folding display tech. It, I think it looks absolutely stunning. It seems like we've got a bit of a notch at the top, which presumably will house a selfie camera. And as well as that 6.2 inch inner folding OLED display, there's also a smaller 600 by 800 outer screen. Now this phone has been rumored and has been leaked for months and months now. And some of those leaks suggested that this phone will be powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 with either four or six gigs of RAM. And it should have a 2,730 milliamp hour battery with 128 gigs of internal storage. That battery sounds quite small, but it does have a pretty power efficient chip. And I suppose if you're gonna have it closed most of the time, you're gonna use a lot less power. But like some of the other folding phones on the market at the moment, this phone will not come cheap. It's rumored to cost as much as 1500 US dollars, which is a massive amount of money to pay, especially for a phone that has a Snapdragon 710, which is basically a mid-range processor. But you know what? The specs do not put me off one little bit. This phone looks amazing. And being a big fan of the old Razer phones, I really can't wait to get my hands on one of these. It won't be long till we find out. Motorola have already put out their invites for their launch event for this one, which is due on the 13th of November in Los Angeles. I think the decision to add lower tier specs to this device is probably a good one considering how expensive the display tech is. So this will allow them to bring the price of this device lower than all the competition at the moment. And I'm gonna put my neck on the line already and say that this is gonna be a massive device for Motorola. There's been no leaks about the specs of the camera at all. So that kind of makes me think that the camera is not gonna be anything to be shouting about. Seems like all the investment has gone into the screen, but I think people who are interested in this device won't really care about that too much. I will be really interested in this phone for its compact form factor, especially when it's folded. And that's it from me, just a quick one today, but I have got more videos coming out today as well. But I just had to put a little one out about this phone because Oh, I love the Razer and this has really got me excited. I'm a big fan, so I'll be covering this one more and I'll be looking to get one in the studio as soon as possible. So make sure you sub to BTEC so you don't miss out. Before I go, I wanna say a big thank you to our sponsors, Direct Mobiles. You can go there to compare all of the UK deals with all UK networks. So you're guaranteed to find the best possible price for your new phone. It's definitely worth checking out. Their link is in the video description below. Also, find down there a link to our new BTEC to Amazon shop with a carefully curated selection of tech and accessories all recommended by us. And that's it from me. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at BTEC and I'll see you in the next video. My name's David, this is BTEC. Thank you.